I'm Harrison Graham. Time for a Bears Now mailbag. We start with Poles Burner. Is that you, Ryan? Is that you? Thanks for watching the show. You can come on anytime. Could the Bears make a blockbuster trade for Miles Garrett if the Browns keep losing? Well, the way his contract is set up, any team trading for him would only absorb like a one and a half, two million dollar cap hit for this year. So that part of it's pretty easy. The hard part is this: a, how much would you have to trade to get him? I mean, is it two ones? Maybe it's a one in that Carolina two. It would be a hefty trade package. And two, Cleveland would ask for a lot because the way they would take on a decent amount of dead money in the upcoming years because they're kind of like the Saints where they keep pushing money down the road and everybody's like, the cap isn't real. Well, if you're a bad team and you decide to rebuild, that's when it becomes real. Ask Denver. They're eating $85 million between this year and next for Russell Wilson because they're like, we, we, the guy sucks. We're just going to take the money. So eventually you do have to pay the piper. Um, but uh, maybe Cleveland's willing to do that. Maybe two more weeks and two more disastrous Deshaun Watson games go by, and they're just like, we're blowing this thing up. Everyone's for sale. Um, and, look, it would be a lot of money, be a lot of draft compensation. I'll tell you this, though. You put Miles Garrett on this defensive line, if everyone's healthy, you could make a very strong case that is the best defense in the NFL. Because it's already probably a top five unit, top ten at worst, and you add – a player who would become the best player on your defense that's already really good, whew, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting to think about. Now, this ain't Madden. It's not just, say, go pick whoever you want, but the Browns suck and weirder things have happened. Would you trade a first and a second round pick for Miles Garrett? Type Y for yes, type N for no. In principle, yes. The Bears team where they're at right now, ask me in two weeks. All right, DC Viper, how soon do you see Caleb taking the Bears to the Super Bowl? How far are we to getting there again? What pieces are missing? It's a hard question to answer because the, the kind of just bland truth is if you make the playoffs, you got a shot, right? Especially in the NFC. Like the NFC, I think, is deeper and better than the AFC overall this year. But at the top, there's not a Chiefs right now, right? Now, maybe if McCaffrey gets back and – the 49ers get rolling, maybe they're that team. But at the end of the day, like, it is still Brock Purdy, who's very good, but it's not like he's unbeatable. Whereas you play Mahomes, especially on the road in the AFC, good luck. Like, I don't – everybody's like, look at his regular season stats. He's not the same guy. Guys, they're like the Warriors now. The regular season does not matter. And, oh, by the way, they're undefeated, and they find a way to win all these games. So, like, he's just in that era now where the, the stats don't matter. Uh, so I, I don't want to say it could be as soon as this year, but I really do believe this. You could be a Super Bowl t contender, a true one, next year. You beef up the offensive line a little bit, maybe you add one more premier pass rusher. You've got pieces. The back seven is excellent. Caleb looks like a guy that heading into year two could be like a dark horse MVP candidate if this trajectory continues. Long way to go, but he's improved every week, and if that continues, like – He's coming. You got skill, guys. I don't know. Big question is Matt Eberflus. Can he be a high-level head coach? Let's see if he can win some of these big games down the stretch this year. He, a lot of tests ahead of this team. A. Dominguez, give us an interior offensive line free agent 2025 lineup. Trey Smith of the Chiefs is probably the top guy you'd want. Um, you could say Zach Martin's better, but he's like 32, 33. Trey Smith would be entering his prime as a free agent, 26 years old, I think. Um that would be the guy I would want. Give him four years, $80 million, let's go. Um, those are two guys. Connor Williams at center would be another guy to look at. Um, I'm guessing he'll get a multi-year deal this time around, assuming he doesn't get injured the rest of the way. Maybe he's in that you know, 8 to $10 million range, two, three-year deal. But, uh, yeah, those are a few guys. Subscribe to Bears now. We answer your mailbag questions every Monday and Thursday. Not this Thursday because I'm uh, in Chicago. Come meet up. Thursday night, Wrigleyville. We're going to find a spot. Uh, but we cover the latest Bears news, rumors, analysis, and much more. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. Petey, is Jacob Martin ever going to be back on the 53? Yeah, they opened his practice window. Um, they have not I, – I don't think they – they did not activate him. But he's. it sounds like he's healthy, so I would imagine they're going to activate him. If they don't, he's out for the year. So I will say this. 
who's he taking snaps from? Are they benching Daniel Hardy, who's been a really good special team player? Are they going to make him inactive? Do you cut Dominic? Maybe you just cut Dominic Robinson. It's like, hey, you've been a healthy scratch for six weeks now. Jacob Martin's a better pass rusher. It's been a nice run. Uh, maybe that's what you do. But uh, when you open your practice window, typically the intent is to activate that player. So we'll see after the bye week if they do that. Max, how worried are you about the Lions if they trade for Crosby? I mean, look, I'm worried about the Lions regardless. That offense, I mean, they were just toying with Dallas. I mean, that was it, – it, as embarrassing as it was for Dallas, it was equally as impressive for Detroit. I mean, Ben Johnson, like, I like what Flus is doing right now, but, like, you still think about, like, you get that guy with Caleb Williams, like, <laughs> the sky's the limit. Uh, don't want to go there right now, but it, it's just a thought that creeps into my head. Uh, but, yeah, if they replace Hutchinson with a big-time player – I did a video on this on Four Birds, like, Three big name trades the Lions could try to pull off. I mentioned Max Crosby, Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons. If they get one of those guys, they're very formidable. There, there's no doubt about it. Get going with Prize Picks. The best daily fantasy sports app in North America is Prize Picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 with a correct four player entry, depending on the type of entry that you play. How awesome is that? Get signed up right now at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS to get a $50 bonus when you play for just $5. Think about that, 5 bucks. No matter what, if you win or lose, you're going to get an additional 50 So kind of get your uh, feet wet with the $5 play, then you're going to get that extra cheddar. I got a perfect entry for you this week. A little two-player action, nothing crazy. Uh, Drake May, more than 179 and a half passing yards. Look pretty good, and they're playing a bad Jags defense, so I like them more there. And uh, I like Bijan Robinson more than 67 and a half rushing yards. Seattle's defense has been banged up. It's been spotty anyway. Uh, so I like that play as well. Uh, $5 to win 15. And again, you get that $50 bonus if you use our code CLNS. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code. Link is in the comments and description. Code's in there as well so you don't forget. And get that bonus right now. Christian. Thoughts on trading for Josh Allen from the Jags if they are selling at the deadline? It, it, it's a tricky one because Josh Hines Allen, technically now, he changed his name uh, to a hyphenated last name. I think there was a familiar reason. I uh, can't remember. But um, he's a damn good player. They just paid him. So I'm not sure. When you pay a guy big money, trading him within a year is pretty difficult with how those contracts are typically set up like, on the team trading him. So, like, I'm not sure Jacksonville would do that and take on the dead money. Uh, plus, he's a cornerstone player. But they are bad, and maybe they want draft picks. I'm not sure. Um, I like him a lot. Do I want to give up my first plus more for him? Like, I don't view him as, like, the Max Crosby tier. Like, I feel like he's closer to Montez Sweat, who's a great player, but you got him for a second-round pick. Like, if you get him for a two, yeah, let's, let's do it. But I, I don't know if I want to give him a first plus more for Jordan, does Eric Washington deserve more credit? I, probably because he's got his specialty is defensive lineman. Well, what have we seen? Andrew Billings' career year as a pass rusher. Javon Dexter, breakout season. He's getting good uh, complimentary play out of pieces like Daryl Taylor and Austin Booker. Yeah, Chris Williams had a sack the other day. Like You know, it, it's hard to measure it because he doesn't call the plays, but I think technique – is something he specializes in. Clearly, Dexter is firing off the ball better. Pad level's better. So, yeah, I, I think he's done a nice job. It's hard to find specific, like, in-game specific things when you don't call the plays. But I would say Monday through Saturday, he's he's doing the job. He's helping with the game planning. He's helping with the defensive line. So, yeah, I think he's uh, he's doing well. Now, am I ready to say, yeah, Flus, give Washington the defense play calling? Hell no. Bluse's value right now more than anything else is he's an excellent defensive play guard. He needs to keep doing it. Name a player that the Bears should trade for. Who is that guy? Is it a defensive lineman? Is it an offensive lineman? Is it a defensive back if you're worried about these corner injuries? Depth is holding up right now, but does that continue? Hopefully Tyler, Jaquan, these guys come back soon. But let me know if you have a name. Mike Nintendo Master, are we buyers or sellers at the deadline? I, I don't think there's a scenario where you're a seller unless you sell Khalil Herbert or sell Bayless Jones. That's That doesn't make you a seller. Um, 
Uh, I think you're either Byers or Stan Pat. Like, uh, even if you lost your next two games, you'd be four and four. And I'd be pretty surprised if you lost to both Arizona and Washington. They could certainly split. Th- those aren't easy games on the road. But um, I-, I would expect to at least win one of those. Matt Bellick, could you see all four teams from the NFC North making the playoffs? I think this is the first time since this new format where you have three wild card teams making it plausible for this to happen. I think it's the first time there's at least a chance. Like through six weeks, they all four look like playoff teams. Like if you're just talking about eye test, does this look like a playoff team? Vikings, yes. Lions, clearly. Packers, it's been a little up and down, but Jordan Love seems to have found his his uh, his uh, momentum here. Yes. Bears, yes. Now they got to play tougher teams, but I mean, think about think about this. All four teams are four and two or better. NFC West division leader right now. Niners and Seahawks tied at three and three. Bears are in last place. In that division, they'd be in first. NFC South, uh, both the Bucks and Falcons are four and two, so they'd be tied at the top there. NFC East, Commanders four and two. Everyone else three and three or worse. Like. All four teams in the North could be division leaders in every other division. It's crazy how dominant this division's been so far. Refrigerator repair. Is Brisker coming back after the bye? I don't know. Eberflus said on Monday he's uh, hopeful on him and Gordon and Tyreek Stevenson. It was classic coach speak. It was, hey, we're on our bye week. We'll have more updates next week uh, type of talk. But, uh, you hope so. He's had multiple concussions. That's always a concern. Um, I hope he is, but can't say for sure. I would say if there was a game this week, I'd be worried. But the fact you got the extra week off, I'd say a decent chance to return in week eight. Appreciate all the questions, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more mailbag episodes. We go live every Monday and Thursday and take your questions. So sub for Bears Dubs. It's YouTube.com slash Bears Dubs.